Have you ever been told, you know, if I could just record you and play it back for you, you'd see what I mean? The Truth. Movies for your ears. Online at thetruthapm.com. Hi, this is Jonathan Mitchell. I'm the producer of The Truth. And today we're going to play a story that originally aired on This American Life. And actually, the idea for this story came from working in radio. In in radio, because I'm interviewing people all the time, uh, a lot of my interactions with people tend to be recorded. And so one thing I noticed when I went back and listened to a lot of the recordings was that the the more emotional an experience was for me in the moment, uh, the less accurate my memory was of the event when I went back and listened to the tape. And I don't have any you know scientific evidence to back this up, but that's how it felt. And so that's where the idea for this story came from. Um, again, it was produced originally for This American Life, and we're really excited to present it on our podcast um, in stereo. So here we go. This is Tape Delay. It was our first date. We had never met. Hey, get you anything? Uh, me? Yeah. We'd emailed, but we hadn't even spoken. Well, I should wait. And I was waiting for her. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Hello. Hi, Ben. It's Erica calling. Hey, Erica. How are you? <laughs> Hi. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm running a little bit late. Okay. That's okay. That's totally okay. I'm here. Um, okay. Tulip, uh, um, you know, Tulip's been sick lately, so I, I, had to, oh. I, I finally took her to the vet. Is she okay? Uh, she is. She is. Good. Uh, uh, do you know how long you're going to be? Uh, I, I, look, I just got out of the subway and I'm walking down the street. All right. So very soon. Great. Um, do you want me to order you a drink so it's ready for when you get here? Uh, sure. What do you want? Do you not want to do this? Because I, I, we don't have to do this. You know what? Um, my reception's really bad. I don't think I'm hearing right. But, um, uh, let me just run outside real quick. Uh, all right. That is better. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. You know what, Erica? Hi. I think I see you. Do you I, see I, me? I'm right outside the bar. I'm waving. Yes, I see you. I hey. See you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, are you all right? Yeah, I am okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to say that. That was really unnecessary. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what I said, uh, but I'm sorry. You know, I was, I was really actually looking forward to this. What do you mean you were looking forward to this? What are you doing? Forget it. You're walking the wrong way. Are you still there? Erica, are you joking? What is going on? Erica! I mean, I was really confused and... Hello, are and, you on the phone still? What the hell? I couldn't tell if she was still on or if she hung up, and I'm looking at my phone, and I see that I had, I had recently downloaded this app that records phone calls and I looked at it and was like I gotta listen to that recording hello hi Ben it's Erica calling it started out hey, the same exact way as I had hi, just I'm so recalled it then it starts to sound like not me do you know how long you're gonna be uh, I, 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 look, I just got out of the subway and I'm walking down the street so feel very soon. okay great do you want me to order you a drink so it's ready for when you get here It's the exact same words that I believe I had just said, but when I listened to the tape, it sounded like, not me, but this jerk. Can you hear me? Yeah. You know what, Erica? I think I see you. You see me? I'm right outside the bar. I'm waving. Yes, I see you. I see you. Hi. 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 I don't know who that was. That wasn't me. I'm not that person. You know, I was... I was really actually looking forward to this. What do you mean you're looking forward to this? What are you doing? Forget it. I'm glad she hung up, because 
God, what would I have said next? (laughs) I wanted to like run after her and find her and apologize, but I was like, I should never say another word as long as I live. You tell me right now, uh, do I sound rude to you? Does that sound rude when I say, do I sound rude? I mean, you sound confused. I am confused. Like, honey, just call her. Call her and try no, again. It's, it's just not like I can pick up the phone and call her unless I know what the Please, hell I'm doing wrong. Honey, it's probably just a misunderstanding. Well, could you listen to the tape and tell me if oh, I God. sound... I don't want to do that. Why not? Because that's not my... Ah, ah, ah. Stop that. You stop that right. Get down. Um, Get off that. You... It's just one phone call, Mom. It's no, really short. Honey, I am not listening to your discussion why, why not? with a girl. Why not? That's just creepy. Do I sound creepy? You sound like you sound. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, well, here we are, huh? I'm so glad to finally meet you. I just was testing out some recordings of myself to hear like your dress. whether or not it was really the device nice. or the, the way it was recorded or something. Your laugh is contagious. And then I would play it back. Well, here we are, huh? And it sounded fine. I'm so glad to finally meet you. I took the recording of the call between me and Erica, and I loaded it in my computer, and I wanted to analyze it. So I divided it up, took my side of the conversation, and cut that out and separated the two. Hi, Ben, it's Erica calling. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm running just a little bit late. Categories, subcategories, I just put all her questions in one file, and then all of her statements in another file, and then... Do you not want to do this? I, I, we don't have to do this. I mean, yeah, she was upset. Yes, I see you. I she was also try. patient and yeah, I am okay. Sincere and genuine and authentic. You know, I was, I was really actually looking forward to this. And I thought, well, what if I put something in there that I know is nice? Well, here we are, huh? Hi. I'm so glad to finally meet you. I was really actually looking forward to this. Yeah, me too, definitely. It sounded great. So, I, you know, I, I just for fun kind of expanded on that. and Oh, these are for you. I know I didn't need to. I think you said these were your favorite, right? Yeah, I would... Yep, they're for you. That was really unnecessary. Well, you only get one first date. Again? Yeah. You want to set up a second date this early in our first date? Yeah. (laughs) Very soon. Why couldn't it have gone that way? Whoa! Whoa! (laughs) You know, I remember being a lot better at ice skating. Do you not want to do this? We don't have to do this. You're just saying that because we're both unable to get back up. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, hi. Hi. What do you call that awesome move you were just attempting? Walking down the street. You really sold it with the whole falling hard on your butt thing. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I am okay. <laughs> and the article said that like 90% of the world's oceans are unexplored. You know, and we think we know everything, but most of our knowledge is... Really unnecessary. Right. Yeah, exactly. Totally unnecessary. I mean, do you think that there are things that will always remain a mystery? Uh, What? Say it. What? I'm so sorry. It's okay. I know what the problem is. We're working with a limited supply of words here. I I know. Let me think. Okay, how's your steak? Good? Sure. Sure? Sure, sure. I wish you could just say that it was awesome or succulent or terrible, like like an old shoe. Ben, I'm so sorry. No, Erica, you... 
you need more words. I don't have to do this. Let me just get you some more words. Erica, hi, it's Ben. Ben. Yeah, we used to, uh, well, we almost went out on a date. Oh, Ben, yes. Hi, yes. <laughs> Hi. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Good, me too. Um, I'm just calling because I felt like, uh, it, uh, I just wanted to say that I felt bad about how things ended up and I wanted to apologize, so. Oh, God, no, it's, uh, uh, cool. I just, you know, I made you feel really upset, and I feel bad about that, so... Don't, I just... don't worry about it. I, I wasn't that upset, so... Well, then, I mean, you just walked away like that, so I just right. figured you definitely upset. Right, right. Well, I, um, I, I walked away... I was, I was very upset because of earlier that night, my, um, my dog, Tulip, died oh. in my arms. So sorry. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Sorry, but she did. She didn't die that day, though. What? She didn't die that day. That's not. That's not what happened. Yes, she did. She she died. Mhm. Mm right, but well, you just were coming from the vet, and you were just said that she was sick. Okay, and well, I think I remember when my dog died. No, that's well. It's wrong, because, I mean, I know you, I know what you said. Are you kidding me? No, I could play it back to you if you want, but, what I mean, it's... You play it back to me? Well, I recorded the call because, um... You recorded our phone call? Yeah, I just accidentally, it was an accident. Oh, my God. I recorded it, and I've listened to it a bunch of times, so I know exactly you to it <laughs> what a you bunch said. Of so, yeah, I know. That's super um, creepy. Well, wait, are you recording you, this phone call right now? <sighs> oh my god, what is your problem? No, I'm not. You're. Why? What is your problem? Because. Why would you say that your dog is just sick if she's dead? Or either that or you're lying now about god, your dog? And I, I lied, okay? I lied, Ben. Get over it. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry about your dog, too. I know that's My dog is too. fine. She's not dead, okay? God. I'm sorry. I don't understand because... You want to know what happened, Ben? Well, yeah. I met someone else. The night before you and I were supposed to go out, I met this great guy, and we fell in love. Awesome. And I... Yeah, you were like 40 minutes late. You know, it was, a, it was a really weird night. Yeah. And I couldn't deal, and I wanted to see Derek. Oh. Okay, and I left. Wait, so you planned to blow me off? If that's what I did, then that's what I did. How do you fall in love with someone in one night? I just wait. Oh no, my phone's gonna die. Let, I'm gonna. Can I call you right back? I'm gonna call you right back. Hello. Hey, we were talking, and I had to. Um, yeah. Hi. How you doing? I'm fine. Good. Uh, I just needed to tell you something. Sure. It's. It's over, Erica. No. Hey, come on now, no. We gave it a shot, you know, but the thing is, you're not real, and real you is right. This is super creepy. It's super creepy. Yeah. What the hell have I been doing? 
I acted like a jerk and I don't know it's been like I'm trying to undo it or figure it out or something and I mean the, the reality is I acted like a jerk because at that moment I was a jerk don't don't worry about it I, I wasn't that upset so. well that's good yeah goodbye Erica are you still there I mean, either. Tape Delay, performed by Ed Herbstman and Tammy Sager. We also heard Libby George as the mom and Christian Palak very briefly as the bartender. I'm Jonathan Mitchell. I produced the piece, and I wrote it with Ed Herbstman and Melanie Hoops. Our production advisors are Peter Clowney and Carrie Hillman. Special thanks to Ira Glass, Lisa Pollock, Jonathan Menhivar, and Chris Bannon. This was recorded at WNYC, KCRW, The Magnet Theater, and on location in New York City. If you'd like to learn more about our podcast, we have a website, thetruthapm.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at thetruthapm. An all-new story is just two weeks away. I'm Jonathan Mitchell, and you have been hearing... The Truth.